Cap over here and welcome to another season of the RBL as the Toronto Star Raptors are entering the fourth season and we have a brand new team in front of us so before we get into the draft analysis and dissecting the team and what I was thinking when I was drafting be sure to smash that like button and show your support by subscribing to the channel too that would be pretty awesome sub and like you could do both at the same time uh, multitasking is pretty cool but before we get into that the, the this season it's looking a bit different we're gonna have 24 teams in the league and they're split into two conferences so there's 12 teams in team rocket and 12 teams in team flare and we are a part of team flare so we're sort of going to be covering that side of the the league a bit more because team rocket is a bit of a skill i know i know everyone's a bad guy but team rocket is sort of a bit a bit more shady so we'll just jump right into this and as you can tell there's the whole team and what I was really looking forward to this season was I want to draft a lot more speed I want to draft a bit more hazards and I, I sort of want to draft a more offensive uh, offensive oriented team and as you can tell we have that in a lot of our picks our first half of the draft is pretty much lots of lots of power and this allows me to bring in any of the, the top six po one and put them in different roles or roles that they normally wouldn't be seen in and I can really surprise people with that so we have um, for example Mega Pidgeot, Latios, Magnezone, uh, Zoomerol, Elvis Presley, The King, Nido King, and Ming Sho. Uh, those are things that can be ran as an, a heavily offensive team and a lot of these put one they're good at what they do. We have a full switcher in Magnezone. We have a U-Turner and Ming Xiao and a Pidgeot. Those, that's going to be really helpful down the road just to get that momentum up and breaking down the walls. We have things that are unpredictable like uh, Nidoking. Azumarill is, is pretty good just because we can run a Choice Band, um, Assault Vest, uh, God forbid we run uh, Choice Scarf, Azumarill, but we could do it, we could do it, or we could just simply run Belly Drum Zoom Roll and just sweep up with that. And and as you can tell, when we go on to our second half of the draft, we pick up Kapagoras, Ditto, Miltank, Sneasel, uh, Pinsir, and Klecky. We were sort of addressing the need of some defense, because you know, we, we can't win games if we don't play any defense. But uh, with that, we sort of picked up a lot of hazards too at the same time. We have Klefki, a Spike Satter, so we're guaranteed spikes all the time just to get rid of those uh, focus ashes. We have a Mole Breaker, Stealth Rocker, uh, that being the Pincer. Uh, we have Mill Tank with the Heal Bell, a Reliable Recovery, Stealth Rock, Thunder Wave. Uh, it can be a pain to deal with. It's a fast Stealth Rocker, and that's what I was really, really looking for. Uh, looking for. Sorry about that. And it has things like Thick Fat, which which is going to be really, really nice just because it pairs up so well with uh, Latios, El Capitan, um, things that don't appreciate the flamethrower or the ice beam. And then we have the Ditto, which is going to be a really, really fun pick just because Ditto is pretty much all the Pokemons in this one little blobby form. Uh, just because it has the ability to just copy the other Pokemon. I can scatter what sets they're bringing. I can potentially use their staff boost against them. And I've seen this Mon use effectively and it's a big threat to really just have to prepare for it because it's there's no real way on preparing for Ditto. You sort of just have to deal with it as it is. And that's what I was really, really looking forward to with drafting Ditto. And then with my uh, Rockle Coffin over here, I just wanted something that could set up Toxic Spikes other than Elvis Presley. Um, and it's a Trick Room user which really pairs up well with Magnezone and Zoomerill and the slower Pokemon in my uh, draft I guess if, if that's a thing. It can really switch the tide in that sense and it's a really just solid Pokemon all around. It's, just, it's got an incredible ability being Mummy so things that hit it physically will turn into Mummy and it might get rid of that um, game changing ability. So. That's always nice, that's always, that's not bad, that's not bad. Uh, we also picked up Pinsir and Klefki and uh, Sneasel in our, later on in the draft. Uh, mostly I wanted Pinsir because it puts in a lot of work. I saw a lot of things that are weak too, like just Pinsir in general. Uh, Pinsir does really well against the Rotoms. Um, just because it can get Mole Breaker, you can go for Earthquake, you can hit uh, Rotom Wash, you can hit Rotom Heat, you can hit Rotom Mo, you can hit Rotom Freeze if that was drafted, I don't think it was. And you can just hit regular Rotom with uh, Earthquake too. So 
it sort of negates the uh, the the ability that they have. So in this case, it would be levitate, and it really puts into some decent work. And it's also an offensive or offensively uh, orientated too, just because it has uh, the likes of Moxie, Molebreaker, and and things like that. So it's it's a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to using Pinsir. Um, it puts in work. It really does put in a lot of work. And then we have Klefki, the Keyzy, the Key God of all keys. And this Pokemon's just. It's, I, I used it in the first season of the RBL and I really loved using it, but it wasn't really much of an OU oh, pick this season. It got dropped to UU and I was like, oh man, I gotta pick this thing up. Um, and this allows me to like, to not bring in Magnezone or Azumarill if I don't want to bring them in. Uh, just because it does have the fairy steel typing and it has different uh, traits to like Magnezone and Azumarill. So I can always leave those Pokemon out. People are gonna have to prepare for those mons. And, they, uh, people people sleep on Keezy. Keezy is nothing to sleep on. And uh, I'm really looking forward to this to this mod just because it has Prankster. So it has Priority and Thunder Wave, Toxic, Substitute, um, Spikes. It can do a lot. It can set up screens, run a light play. It can, it can let my Pokemon set up and potentially just run one chop on everyone that, that doesn't prepare for Keezy. Uh, next up, we... Uh, Someone that I really wanted to talk about was uh, Sneasel, aka Tinder, because you know you gotta swipe left and right. Um, this allows me to pursue trap a certain mons. So if Elvis Presley doesn't like a psychic type, well, I got Sneasel to deal with that. Just trap those psychic mons. Um, ice typing is really nice, and it having a base speed of 115. Whew, that's a fast Pokemon, and it hits decently hard with 95 base attack has priority in Ice Shard and has Stab Knockoff too, which is not bad. It's not a it's not a bad problem to have. At times for weakness to fighting, I have a decent amount of things that can take those hits. That being like Latios, Zumeral, Nido King, Cafagris. Um I think I think Pinsir could take it too. Pinsir could take some hits. Uh, so it really pairs up with with my team and it, it does really well. Um, some things that I was sort of concerned about in this team was just would I be able to deal with hazards and how would my team fare well against a, st a stalling team or whatnot. Um, it just pretty much comes down to how I prep and how I play them. Uh, in terms of defense or in terms of hazards, we have some we have we have a decent amount of hazard control. That being like Pidgeot and Latios, one of the best defoggers in the game. But other than that, my team doesn't really hurt that much from rocks just because. Pidgeot, uh, Sneasel, and Pinsir are all the only things that are really weak to uh, rocks, and even then, it's not it's not like a times four weakness. Um, spikes and whatnot. We have toxic spikes to absorb with Nido King, so people won't bring the toxic spikes uh, just because Elvis Presley most likely can come to a lot of battles. It really just depends on what I want to bring it in against. And the only thing is that we we just got to deal with the spikes and. I think it's it's not that big of a deal with the spikes. If we can just work around it, then that'll be that'll be nice. That'll be nice. So this is a team that we drafted. As you can tell, this is very different from what I drafted from the previous seasons. A lot of my teams were much slower, um, reliable recovery. Well, even then, this team has some reliable recovery, a reliable recovery, a bulk. Offensively, they had, they were they were bulky and offensive. Uh, this team is much, it's a lot faster, it hits a lot quicker, um, not quicker, it hits a lot harder, and especially offensive side, as you can tell my first three picks, and, and even Elvis Presley, they're all especially offensive Pokemon that can be ran as like that and do some big damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, quick meet and greet of the team. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the description down below. And uh, let's see if we can get to the finals uh, this season, as we barely missed it out last season. It pretty much came down to the last game of the season, in which the other team that had to win won, and we got knocked out. But hey, what, what, what can you say? What can you say? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to follow the Toronto Star Raptors and see if we make it into the playoffs. And I'll get going. So thank you for watching, and this is Cap. Signing off.